Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Oke okay guys Nice and very grateful to see you again through my channel Indonesian English TV So in this video Today I would like to explain about the classroom accent research Okay as you know the the name says that classroom accent research. This is more focused on the activity of the teachers in the classroom when they teach a subject, one subject that is. So they want to make or to write a research based on the student's achievement in the classroom for one subject. And nowadays, classroom accent research at least has two cycles okay in one cycle the teacher want to find out whether the students can have a kind of achievement in one subject especially in English so there are many researchers conducted a research classroom accent research in the three cycles it depends on you but one important thing is that when you want to conduct a classroom accent research you need to have a collaborators. The collaborators should be the teacher from the schools itself. And it is hard for you if you only students, then you are not teachers of this of the classroom. So you a little bit hard to conduct a research or classroom accent research. So you got to find first the collaborator for you research in classroom excellence so now i will explain about the format of thesis proposal in form of classroom excellent research but before you see before you watch this video don't forget to leave like comment and i hope you share these channels to your social media groups where you part of the group to make this video faster to be spread out in all of, all of the world see and then the most important thing also you need to subscribe my channel indonesian english tv in order to make benefit for the social uh, phenomenon in indonesia especially for english especially for english department still so let's go to the explanation of mine okay let's get started this is the format proposal penelitian scripsi for classroom action research so you who are really interested to be a teacher or maybe you are a teacher also you want to know about the improvement of your students in the classroom in your subject especially so you need to conduct classroom accent research because you want not to because you want to know about the students ability when you are teaching them in the classroom whether their skills or the ability improve in every semester or just got Tongue <laughs> just got uh, locked in the very average level. So, classroom excel research is very suitable for students, especially collaborative with the collaborate with the teacher in the classroom. Then, please follow the format of writing a classroom excel research for the students of English department. In chapter 1, you have four items. Chapter 1 name is introduction. In introduction, you have 1.1 background of the problems. So you need to write the background why how you conducting an, a classroom action research in this classroom. And 1.2 formulation of the problems. So you need to formulate why uh, are you conducting this, re this classroom action research to these students or to the schools only. And 
you need to very very specific to write the formulation of the problem and 1.3 objective of the research so why are you conducting this you will now find what by conducting classroom action research you need to write the objectives of the research and 1.4 the significance of the research results so this is kind of your hopes when you conducting the classroom action research what actually the result you want to find out later and why you want this uh, really really important for you to do and what is the, impl the implication later when you have conducted this research okay let's move to chapter 2 theoretical framework in theoretical framework also has four elements 2.1 theoretical study all theory related to classroom action research and your really specific topics you need to find out by reading and by browsing in wherever you can get uh, uh, resources and 2.2 related research study you got to find the related research study to your uh, research and we move to point three framework of thinking meanings that after you read many resources before you have something in your mind how is your thought thing about this uh, classroom excellent research and about the previous study that you have already read you need to frame your thought here and in 2.4 hypothesis if any of course in classroom action research you may propose hypothesis and also you may not propose hypothesis if you think that your research needs a hypothesis you got to write here but it's not uh, compulsory for you to write the hypothesis if you believe if your uh, approach will not have hypothesis okay you are free to choose well 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 we move chapter three research methodology in research methodology you have eight elements for 3.1 it is about time and place of your research so you need to write exactly the time exactly the place of research maybe and you got to put here the schedule of your uh, research will be uh, held here in 3.2 the subject of research you got to write precisely who is the subject of the research because this is very important it is impossible for you to not have a subject of the research okay in 3.3 you have data and data resources what kind of data you will propose in this research and what kind of resources of data you want to find out later you got to descriptively explain here and 3.4 technique of collecting data also you need to write the technique of collecting data from the very beginning of you collect the data till the end you got the result and 3.5 technique of data validation so you need to validate the data you got from the from the sites uh, because this is to make your research valid and and validating the data you may use many formulation or many uh, experts are ideas on it and then we move to 3.6 technique of that analyzing data so how is the technique you use in analyzing the data then we move to 3.7 research assessment indicators atau dalam bahasa indonesia indikator kinerja penelitian so what kind of indicators or how many indicators you can find in your classroom action research in this title so you got to write here at least here your your plans what is in your mind about the indicators and about the assessment of the 
uh, kinerja here. And then you have 3.8 research procedures. Okay, you need to write the, the like a figure uh, for your classroom external research from the very beginning of the step you conducting the research till the end you got the results of your classroom action research and you need also to explain every cycle step cycle one what cycle two and cycle three and so on so of course after uh, until you got the final results of your classroom action research okay now we move to chapter four at as i like to say Chapter 4 is the heart and the head of your research. What kind of uh, research you conduct? But number 4, uh, chapter 4 is the heart and the head of your research. So in classroom action research, you have four kinds of elements. 4.1 is pre-action description atau deskripsi pratindakan. So what? you want to do what you have already done in this uh, research you need to explain you need to ex to describe in detail the pre-action description before you conduct uh, cycle one and cycle and so on and 4.2 you got to write description of action results each cycle so if you have already got the data the the, the action here you need to describe every cycle's action here with the complete results of every action's cycles. So, a description of action research each cycle you got to write here. In 4.3, you have comparison of action results among cycles. So, you need to compare about the results of every cycles you made so is it uh, match or not match you need to write here because you need to write the comparison of excellent results among the cycles okay you got the last 4.4 discussion of course after you contact the results and every cycle you got the, the, the results of cycles then you need to discuss is it very suitable for you to say that the classroom is really effective uh, seeing from the scores of the students and if not you need to write here in discussion you detailly completely precisely and clearly write here in 4.4 discussions okay this is the heart and in discussion also you can write the uh, thesis statement after you conducting uh, this classroom accent research. And then the last chapter, chapter five, conclusion, implication, and suggestions. So 5.1, you got to write the conclusion of your classroom accent research. Of course, the conclusion you make to minimize the sentence, but of course, this is the like like a head of your thesis the conclude to make summarize and to 5.2 the implication the implication means that you have to write here what's gonna be later after you find the a result of every cycles and also you have to match between the cycles and the last is suggestions 5.3 suggestion what is the suggestion you want to propose to what part of individuals maybe or to what part of institution maybe you want to propose want to give the suggestions to maybe can write can use can implement your result your result of your classroom action research and the last step is you got to write the references of course, you cannot write without reading some resources before, and you got to put everything, every resource you can find, you use for your thesis in the references. Underline it that do not have any 
loss of information by deleting one export or one books only. But you need to write all, turn music. And then in the appendixes, of course, you need to attach the documentation you gather from the site to make your thesis complete and easy to read by the readers. Okay, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you get a better understanding in conducting a classroom action research after having a very complete explanation in this video. Well, that's not that's only on Indonesian English TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.